Stacey A. Cross here. There is no E in my name. I am the founder of The Comfort Killers as well as author of this gem right here. It's a book that you could put in your back pocket that'll help you with mindset. It'll help you to get out of the employee mindset, go into the entrepreneurial mindset, but it'll also help you overcome anything, I mean anything that you have going on in your life, whether it is depression, addiction, I've done it without meds or therapy, and you could do it also. This book is available right now on Amazon, The Comfort Killers, How to Change Your Life Using Tools You Already Have. One of the tools you already have is the support of the universe. A lot of people say, well, what do you mean, Stacy? Well, the universe supported me very early on once I did one thing. Once I raised my level of consciousness, raised my level of awareness, I was able to play games with the universe. Now the universe isn't this concrete, static, you know, very hard thing, right? The universe is a very playful, it wants to support you, it thinks, it breathes, it's dynamic, it changes, it moves with rhythm, it moves with the flows, and it moves with your thoughts. What do you mean, Stacy? What do I mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean that if you are constantly thinking about lack, scarcity, bad times, bad luck, depression, gloom, doom, nobody loves me, victim mentality, then guess what? Once you look and pierce out of your eyesight, what do you see? You get that. You get lack, scarcity, in terms of things that happen to you and experiences that complement your thoughts. Damn, Stacy. Well, how do I raise the consciousness? Well, first of all, you have to know who you are. This is important because you have to think of yourself as that superstar, rock star, comfort killer that knows that everyone and everything in their reality and in the universe is there to support them. That's thinking like, honestly, like a king, like a queen, like someone of pure magnificent, like an incredible being, right? One that's great. But hold up. Well, how do you jump out of depression, Stacey? How do you jump out of addiction and start automatically believing yourself to be this powerful person? Well, it first starts with your voice. What are you saying to yourself? Because what you're saying to yourself, it has with it a vibrational rhythm that pulls. And you, you see, everyone, that, I want to become attractive. I want to become attractive. The law of attraction, hey, guess what? You are already attractive. Guess what? But you're attracting to you the things that you don't want. So you don't look at it in terms of, oh my God, I'm getting everything that I don't want. I'm attractive. Because the word attractive appears to be one that is successful, the one that is abundant. But that word attractive works whether you're pulling a magnet, you have a magnet in your hand, and you're a bad individual, depressed individual. Or on the other side, if you're a good person, ethics is high, you feel great, you're joy, you're full of enthusiasm. The both magnets are still working. What do you want to attract with you? So in order to raise your consciousness, you have to know that you are in the middle of your own universe. Your own universe. And with it, I'm playing a part of it. So you attracted me today with this video, with this message. Even down to that, you've attracted me. I'm now in a part of your universe. Do you understand that? So we're all playing a part, we're role players supporting cast members in your universe. The next thing you have to do is wake up and say, listen, I think, man, I'm, I'm grateful, I think, I appreciate, but we're gonna play some games today, universe. I know that you're here to support me. I know that I'm successful already. I believe that, because those are affirmations that you already put out there. So now the universe has to, hey, man, this person just sent an ill intention out. We have to match this with what the person sees, feels, generates the people that comes into this person's life. 
you know, the opportunities that happen, the experiences that happen. But I'm going to be honest with you. Because changing this thing, the mindset, is probably the only thing you need to do. But it, since it's so unfamiliar to you right now, it'll be one of the hardest things that you have to do. So you have to monitor it and you have to behave in such a way that not just happens one day or for one hour, but it's a consistent change in behavior, consistent change in thoughts, consistent change in your actions. And then the universe says back to you, man, she's serious. So what I did was I went into myself. I went within. I didn't go without. All right, a lot of people stay without. They stay without because they want to fix the broken car. Hey, why do I have a broken car? I go within. I go within for everything. I'm going within right now, okay? So I go within and I say, Stacy, you are magnificent, okay? Stacy, but here's the thing. I'm saying you are. So who's saying you are? It must mean that something is higher than what's portrayed out of this. I was watching KRS One today. Shell. I'm gonna use that. I love that word. The body. The shell. There's something deeper inside that is having these thoughts. There's something deeper inside that's all powerful, right? Stacy, you are magnificent. I am. Those two words, huge. But what are you saying usually? Usually we're saying, man, I am an idiot. I am dumb. I'm not smart enough to get that position, to get that job, to start that business. I am weak. We're saying all these negative I am's. We're still attractive. Best believe it works all the time, right? Unequivocally. It works all the time, whether you're negative or positive. But this is more about getting in tune to that there is a higher, per there's a higher self within you that is controlling everything in your domain. We got to raise our consciousness now. So here, let's, let's, let's raise our consciousness. Who are you? Think about it real quick. Who are you? Say it. Hey, listen. Say I am great. When Muhammad Ali came out and man, he boasted, I am the greatest, right? Some people look at him, oh, that, that boy there got an ego. And he's looking at it like it's self-affirmation. You are the greatest. Why, why not say it? And why not say it loud and proud? And why not, you know, people get guilty or they feel an uneasy feeling or they feel queasy when they start talking about themselves. Have you ever gotten a, uh, a compliment, right? Somebody giving you a compliment, they say, Stace, I like your hair. And then automatically, you're trying to find another compliment to hit them with, even though you weren't about to give them a compliment. Just say thank you. Just say thank you and smile. It's okay to receive compliments. These are how your consciousness is, starts getting raised up because you're beautiful. And within that beauty, people are going to recognize that. And they're recognizing outerly stuff. And people are going to recognize inwardly stuff that you put without. But you first have to understand what you're saying to yourself, what you're thinking to yourself, and, and that's definitely what? What you're doing to yourself. So you will wake up, see the sun shining, jump up out of bed, and have a grand old day. Or you can wake up, see the, 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 the clouds there, and you're like, man, that cloud dictates how I am today. You're ever in an elevator, and this is where all the weather talk happens, in the elevator, because we don't know what to say to each other. So in the elevator, we're there like, hey, that, uh, that rain. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, man, it's a sleepy day for me. And the weather dictates how this person feels. The weather. The clouds that are temporary dictate how someone feels. You watch something on TV, you watch some political news, it dictates how you feel for the rest of the day. Your boss said, hey, you could have done better with this, this project we've given you, or hey, you know, we're going to have to write you up because, you know, you've been excessively late. You dictate it. Now you feel bad for the rest of the month. You hate the boss. You hate his family. You hate her family. Whatever it is, you just hate, hate, hate. Oh, damn, why they say that to me? You know, you make a song about it. 
because other people have control over how you feel. Other things have control over how you feel. So a part of raising your consciousness is to take back the control. Take it back. It's yours. It's rightfully yours. I was filling out a form today, and the form says, what barriers, other than economic barriers, other than economic barriers, what other barriers are in your way? And I said, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm not going to answer a question that puts me into a limiting belief. And you have the right, and you have the power, and you are so much in control that you don't have to answer limiting belief people. You don't have to watch limiting belief things. You have the right to empower yourself, to bring into yourself exactly what you want. You want enthusiasm, you want joy, be joy. Be enthusiastic about things. Raise your energy level about things and watch what happens because I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, comfort killers. Are you a comfort killer yet? If you have not joined The Comfort Killer, go to thecomfortkillers.com. I want you a part of this because it's removing the victim mentality and, and replacing it with a victor, champion, winner mentality. That's the only way you're going to go out in this world. So when you wake up, you make the decision to say, nothing's going to dictate how I feel. I control how I feel. I'm going to be the everlasting controller over me. I'm not trying to control everyone else. It's not your job. You're not here to control everyone else. Too much work anyway. I tried. I tried. I'm not here. I want to control me. I want to control my actions, my thoughts, my visualizations. You understand? And therefore, by doing that act, I control what's happening in my universe. I see what I want to see. You know, you ever, you, I know a lot of people, they, they see 11-11. That was my first thing when I started, when I started raising my kinds. I was like, why do I keep seeing 11-11? Why do I see 11-11? Things started appearing, but I was, all it was, they were always there. It was always 11-11, twice a day. I didn't see it. I didn't notice it. See, this is, the universe can't come in and say, hey, Stacy, you need to do this. No, the universe plays with you through your vision, your senses. Raise them. Understand them. Feel them. And tell the universe, because it's yours, 